Hi, Jesse Cano from LoseTheBackPain.com, and today I'm joined by John Howard, a licensed acupuncturist, and we're going to be talking about acupuncture, what it is, how it works, how can it help you as someone who's suffering from pain. Uh, so, John, thanks for joining me. Thanks. And uh, why don't you uh, share with our viewers and listeners a little bit about your background, what, you know, what got you into acupuncture? Sure, sure. Uh, my name is John Howard. I've been practicing acupuncture now for five years in the Maryland area. I started off um, in the medical field as a medical technician, um, running tests, blood tests. I went to school for that. I did that for a few years, and then after that, I went, joined the military, and I became a Navy corpsman, um, served with the United States Marine Corps, got most of my training through the Navy, and when I came out, I became a physician's assistant, or PA, at George Washington University Hospital. I did that for about two years and I was working a lot of hours. Mm -hmm, that's and nice. In the process, I got injured and I went to the acupuncture clinic and uh, I got a few treatments. And it worked really well. And I asked the gentleman how I can become a student. He told me and within a few months I enrolled. And that was, uh, like I said, that was probably about 10 years ago now. School was uh, almost four years long. That's interesting. So there was an acupuncture clinic in the hospital. Actually, it was in the school. There was a school okay. in Bethesda, Maryland that had an acupuncture clinic. I actually went to that and tried it out and thought, you know, it's pretty cheap. Couldn't hurt. Okay. Give it a try. Yeah, so um, I guess the first question I'd like to ask you sure. is what is acupuncture? Acupuncture is probably one of the oldest forms of medicine that have still existed. I'm not sure if it's the oldest form, but it's been around for close to 5,000 years. Um, wow. Basically, what acupuncture is, it's medicine that helps you heal yourself um, by putting needles in your body. It stimulates the immune system and it helps correct and heal the body. Yeah, I know the, the one thing most people who've never experienced acupuncture are probably thinking needles in the body, it doesn't sound good. Correct. Um, so can you talk a little bit about how, sure. you know, how they actually don't really hurt? Sure, the reason why most people think that needles hurt is that when they go to the doctor, they usually get a needle that either puts something in, like a vaccine or pulls something out, like blood that has a bore. That bore causes little trauma to the skin and that's the pain you feel. The acupuncture needles I use are as thin as your hair. They have no bore, no hole, and they're, and they're, they're so tiny. They, they, most people, most of my patients actually fall asleep when they get treatment. They don't feel anything or at all. Wow. That's, see, I, I've actually never had a full-blown uh, session with John. I have done one uh, sample treatment, which is the battlefield technique Correct. we'll talk about later. And you guys can see that in another video. And even that, I believe that's a, a bigger Correct. size needle. It's a bigger and that, needle. And that barely, barely felt that. So. Correct. Okay, good. So can you try to explain to people how, you know, how does acupuncture work? Especially for someone you know, who's watching this who has pain. How can acupuncture reduce or eliminate somebody's pain? Sure. Um, you've probably seen acupuncture in the news quite a lot about how it works for pain. Uh, there's a couple theories on how acupuncture works. And right now they're just theories. But in Chinese medicine, what usually happens, for instance, in a pain situation, um, there's a blockage in the meridian or the channel. And what happens is the energy or the qi can't get through the channel. And that blockage, that backed up energy is what, was what causes the pain. What acupuncture does is simply by placing needles around that, below it and above it, it helps to facilitate the flow of energy or qi to kind of go through and you know, heal, the, heal the person. Okay, so let's take, um, let's say somebody who has lower back pain. Sure. They've been diagnosed with a herniated disc, mm -hmm. and maybe they're awaiting surgery or they're trying to avoid surgery. How can acupuncture, or specifically in that scenario, help them? You know, sure. It, again, their, their pain may or may not even be caused by this disc. Sure. So I want to make that point clear. You can be diagnosed with a problem like a herniated disc, and that may not be the cause of the pain. Absolutely. But... You know, once you receive a diagnosis, you're gonna. Most people are gonna take that as, as okay. This is what I've got. This is my sure. problem. Assuming somebody thinks that's the problem, or or that is the problem, you know, how could acupuncture help them? It could help definitely by relieving the pain. The first thing acupuncture does, and probably one of the best things it does, is release pain and release it very quickly. Um, it's probably as quick, or if not as quicker, than using taking medicine like Percocet or Vicodin or one of those things. Um, a lot of times what I do is I work in conjunction with patients who are going to get surgery, like you said, for back pain. It helps get them out of pain so they can get the surgery. A lot of times you'll see that once their pain is manageable, they decide to hold off on the surgery. And it turns out maybe the back pain or the slipped disc wasn't really the cause of the problem. There was something else going on. Right. And it was the acupuncture that kind of shed a light on what really was the cause of the problem. Right, okay. 
So can you talk a little bit about, you've got some things here. Sure, can you sure. talk about the different ways you can administer acupuncture? Sure. Um, one of the things I like to do is, we'll just talk about pain here, for instance. Uh, this little machine here, it's called the Interax uh, 5002. This works by finding the frequency of the pain. Um, let's say, for instance, you have lower back pain. There's a frequency that connects to your brain. It goes to the nervous system. It tells your brain, hey, I got pain down here. What this machine does is basically hones in on that pain. It kind of tries to find it, and it kind of will stick to it. What it does is it breaks the frequency or it breaks the cycle of pain. Okay? Now, that's, that's a good thing, but if it only did that, that's not good because you'd still have the problem there. But what this machine does is it throws different currents in there, microcurrent, millicurrent, AC, DC. And what it does is it creates a frequency that goes through the nervous system up to the brain. They're releasing the called norepeptides, which help cause a healing effect. So what it does is basically do two things. It stops the pain and it causes a healing effect. So it just doesn't give you one, you know, one treatment. So, so the first piece, it stops the pain by basically interrupting the signal Interrupted that the signal, normally right. would be going back and forth Absolutely. from the back to the brain. So that's, that's how it stops the pain. Correct. Then it helps heal the area by stimulating. Yes, it throws in a current through the nervous system, and what it does is it releases neuropeptides in the brain, and the neuropeptides, it starts at like a healing cascade or a healing effect. Right, okay, all right, very cool. So, and I've had this done, but very, very cool. It's kind of like a back massager. It kind of feels really good. If anybody had a TENS machine ever on them, or they've been to the chiropractor and they had that, you know, like it's a TENS machine, it basically feels the same thing. And one, one of the things I want to ask you about this, sure. um, with something like this, is this the only type of uh, treatment that you're aware of that can actually detect uh, where the where the pain spot is or where that that pain signal is you know coming from? This is the only machine that I have that I, I personally have that that does that. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not really sure if there's other machines out there that okay. can detect pain, but this is pretty good at finding trigger points. Okay, and, oh, so and that's good to know. Yes, yeah, so, and the reason I brought that up is because we've not heard. Um, or seen much like this anywhere yeah. so it, it's really unique and and effective so it's a pretty good combination sure uh, and now how about this here you know what can you explain what that is and how that this works? is just a little electric stimulator what these are here these are little alligator clips and what I do is I place these on the needle and it basically sends a little shock to the needle um, kind of like a tens unit again and what that helps do is it helps felicitate and help the flow of chi to kind of get through there it basically takes me out of the picture. I don't have to sit there and rotate the needles. This does it for me. And by setting different frequencies, it depends on what kind of pain you have. If it's acute pain, chronic pain, I can kind of dial right into that pain and help eliminate it. So how you had said this is similar to tens. How about like a um, electrical stimulation where they you know physical therapist or a chiropractor will put the electrodes just on your sure. muscle tissue. Sure. How, how does that differ? Is it more effective going <laughs> through the needle? Does well, it work differently? It does work differently. The TENS unit stands for transcutaneous electrical neurostimuli. <clears throat> this machine is more like a, a PENS, P-E-N-S, percutaneous electric neurostimuli. It goes deep into the body. It, it actually helps uh, propagate the cells to, to open up and help the chi flow, basically. Um, after about three to five minutes of this, you feel like someone's tapping you, and then your body just drowns it out. That's basically what this feels like. Okay. <clears throat> okay, cool. And then how about um, the regular treatment? So you've got this, <clears throat> you've got the electrical sure. uh, acupuncture, and then your traditional acupuncture. Sure. Uh, you had mentioned you just spin, you're spinning with needles. Correct. Can you talk, talk us through the process? And we're going to do a demonstration sure. for you in a few moments, but you know, what, what's the purpose of that? You know, once sure. the needle is in there, obviously, uh, you talked about it. You know, how does it release the blockage and then sure. what's the purpose of the spinning of the needles? And sure. When people come in, I usually take a full history. I always ask them how the pain started. Sometimes they'll say, you know, I just woke up with the pain. I don't know what happened. It just was there. Other times they might say, you know, it just came on throughout the years. And other times they might say, you know, I fell off a ladder yesterday. Right. So it all depends on how they had the pain, how long they had the pain. That determines what kind of treatment they get if they get electric if they get interacts, needles, battlefield, okay. whatever that. For instance, if somebody just fell off a ladder the other day, what I would do is I'd find the area where he fell, find the, the, the painful spot. Mm -hmm. I would put needles around that area. Where, wherever the needles are, there's meridians that run through the body. I would also connect other needles to different parts of the body that, that would help pull the energy out of that area. Because what happens is you have a blockage. 
So for instance, if I had the bladder meridian that was just the blockage of the chi, I would use some needles in the feet that would help pull the energy down through the channels. That's how acupuncture works. It's kind of like a pulley system. Really. So, so let me ask you, just to make sure I understand it correctly. If you fall, let's say, and it's on the lower back. Correct. And so there's this inflammation, there's swelling, and Correct. there's a blockage. The blockage created by the trauma? Correct. Okay. Correct. So, yeah, so I just wanted to make sure that was, that was clear. So, you know, you have some kind of blunt force trauma. That can create inflammation, pain, swelling, and this blockage. Mm -hmm. And so you're saying that you're not only putting acupuncture needles in, the, in, the, in or around the area, but you're also doing it to other Absolutely. parts of the body to pull that out. And it totally Absolutely. makes sense. Absolutely. Okay. And if somebody woke up with pain, let's say, they had some sort of condition, they just, you know, I don't know what the problem was, I just woke up with this pain. By doing the in interview, I'd find out what meridian system is affected. For instance, the liver meridian, that has to do with the free flow of chi. I would definitely use some needles on the liver meridian. Then I would ask them about you know, their personal life, their health. Uh, you know, there could be other meridians that could be affected. That's what might be causing the pain. So by placing other needles on different meridian systems would help facilitate the uh, pain relief for them. Okay. Now I know one of the things that John and I talked about before we actually started this video is there's some acupuncturists, uh, acupuncturists who practice differently, obviously, sure. just like any healthcare professional. Uh, but one of the things that seems to me uh, that you want to look for if you're looking for an acupuncturist is somebody who practices in the approach that you just described, which is being able to identify the right treatment approach based on the situation. Correct. So, you know, you wouldn't do, you know, we taught you, you know, again, before this video, we were talking about a, a therapist who applied needles only into the painful area and didn't do the technique you just described, which is to try to pull the, Correct. you know, pull it out. Um, is there a, any kind of uh, terminology or, or things that you recommend somebody, you know, who's going to consider acupuncture? that they would you know, ask, questions they might ask a therapist? Sure, one thing they, they have to do is be comfortable with the therapist, ask them some questions, their background, have they ever treated this condition, what kind of success rate have they had with these conditions? And if they don't feel comfortable, still ask them if they can, you know, if they have any testimonials, if they have any websites they can, they can see, and get comfortable with that. Um, there is a lot of good acupunctures out there, it's, you just gotta find the right one that fits for you. So uh, two, two things I just wanna emphasize what John just said is, have they treated this condition before? Yeah. To me, that's a big one. Sure. Yeah, you know, just because you're an acupuncturist, that doesn't mean you can be an expert in all the areas of the body Absolutely. or all, all types of ailments. And then, what's your success rate? So, have you treated this condition, and what's your success rate in treating this particular condition or health ailment? So, very sure. good. Um, all right, I guess, why don't we uh, get ready to do a quick demonstration? Okay, this is, again, Jesse from LoseTheBackPain.com. We're going to do a quick demonstration now uh, using the Interex. And a couple weeks ago, I actually hurt my leg uh, with Muay Thai. It's a type of martial art. You may be familiar with it. Took about five kicks to the outside of this leg. And I, I have an IT band uh, issue lingering from years before that occasionally will bother me. But usually I can tr you know, self-treat it and take care of it quickly before it becomes a problem. But these four or five kicks that I took really bruised up my hamstring behind, behind the knee and then the calf. I've done a bunch, it's gotten a lot better, but there's still a little lingering uh, discomfort, maybe bruising here in the calf. So we're going to go ahead and work on that now. What we're going to do is we're going to use the Interex to find out if we can find the pain and to treat the pain. Um, you might hear a beep and that usually tells me that's an active spot where the pain could be coming from. So what we're going to head, go ahead and do is treat that area and we'll go from there. Jesse, can you, can you feel this down here? Oh yeah, and actually... Am I on the spot? Yep, you're on one of the spots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's the active spot. That tells me right there that the interacts did pick up where some of the pain is coming. Uh, when you hear that beep, there's actually a number that it gives me on the screen. And the higher the number, usually the worse the pain is. Mm -hmm. and, and you're actually on, right on probably one of the worst spots. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to break that signal that we talked about. And then the interex is going to send frequency through Jesse's leg into his nervous system, up to the brain, and release something called neuropeptides to help cause a healing effect. This treatment would take about 15 to 20 minutes. We're just doing this for a demonstration just to show you how it's done. But as you can see, it did pinpoint one of Jesse's spots pretty well. He was able to feel 
the inner X actually s stick to his leg as well. And so, John, how how long before the the treatment actually uh, obviously the healing starts to you know initiate or begin right away? But how long before you can feel a difference? Usually, after about fifteen or twenty minutes, most pa patients get off the table and notice a difference right away. Okay. Yeah. The reason I ask is because I'm already starting to feel. Uh, Feels slightly better already, actually. Sure. Now, I don't, again, I don't know if it's just you know start starting to work or if it's the massaging effect, but it could be a little bit of both. Mm -hmm. Can you feel that there? Oh yeah. And the reason why you're not hearing it beep is because it basically timed itself out. We we threw enough electric in you, so what I'd have to do is pick it up and start over again. But that's your spot right there. Mm-hmm. Great. And you know what's funny too is that <clears throat> this meridian here is the gallbladder meridian here. And one of the things, the gallbladder meridian is paired with the liver meridian. The liver meridian has to do with the free flow of chi. So what happens when you interrupt the meridian of the gallbladder or the liver, you have a problem with the free flow of chi. So it doesn't surprise me. Also the, uh, the IT band is mm -hmm. a tendon, which is the liver controls the tendons. So this all makes sense to me. Now we're gonna do a quick demonstration of standard acupuncture uh, technique. And this is just one example of what you might uh, expect to receive uh, for someone suffering from back pain. We're about to give Jesse an acupuncture treatment. Prior to giving the treatment, I took a full exam, found out what the problem is and how to treat it, and I washed my hands first. Um, we're gonna use sterile needles that come individually wrapped for one-time use only. One of the things you should ask the acupuncture is that they use disposable needles, and that's always a good thing to use. So we're going to go ahead and put some alcohol on the spots that we predetermined to choose to treat Jesse's pain. Now, most patients, when they get acupuncture treatment, they usually fall asleep. They find it very restful and very relaxing. We're actually going to work our way down. We're going to start at the top and work our way down. The treatment we're doing here now is actually addressing Jesse's pain and helping to balance the meridians. At this point, once all the needles were in, I asked him if he was comfortable, any of the needles hurt, and uh, how's everything going, Jess? I didn't, feel, I didn't really feel at all any of it except for the right foot and the left behind the knee. Yeah. Every now and then you might get a little pinch. Um, as Jesse said, was it was pretty comfortable, not that bad? Bar barely felt them, actually. Most of them I couldn't feel at all. Yeah. Most patients, when they get acupuncture, like I said, they usually will fall asleep. This is a very soothing, very relaxing. At this point, I turn on some music, turn the lights down, and just have them relax for about 35 minutes. Let the body take over at this point. The body is now um, having the chi flow correctly through it. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to basically prevent the this is more advanced. We're trying to prevent the pain from going up the meridian. And we put one down here to kind of pull it down. What I'd also do is, we didn't really do is I'd put another one over here because once you pull the energy down, you gotta resend it back up the channel. You right. just gotta have it in the foot, you know, so we're gonna resend it back up. Um, the ones in the back also are corresponding to the, the bladder meridian where some of your problem is because I noticed the, the, one of the sore spots was here. It's bladder 57 in that area there. Um, so we just did some points there. We didn't put a needle right in the middle. I, I don't know if I marked it up, but I kind of switched up because you have a lot of energy there. I wasn't going to put more energy there. Um, at this point, we can actually even put a little electrodes to kind of help with the uh, the flow of chi. But um, this, since this is your first treatment, you know we don't try to um, shout at the body. We try to whisper at the body to kind of give it subtle commands to do it. And you're young, you're healthy, so you probably wouldn't even need the electric stem. It would help. But if you know it's your first time, and some people might feel uncomfortable, you know they they don't know what this is. They're at some place they've never been before, somebody they've never met before, and they're getting needles put in them. You know, 
right? So usually the first time I don't do it, it's, it's, it's a, comf a comfortable thing. All right, well, we just wrapped up my treatment, and uh, as I was saying, during the treatment, I didn't even feel all but one or two of the needles uh, go in or come out. So uh, I'm really surprised by that. I was expecting you know, to feel something. Uh, but already feeling, feeling good, and uh, hopefully you found this information helpful today. Uh, be sure to watch the other acupuncture video we have on the battlefield acupuncture technique, and then also look for our audio that we'll have out soon. Mm -hmm.